the whole theme of the show and the season is sort of American Gothic. We love the darker side of Joseph Aboud. You know, there's kind of a fun play on that where we do a darker color palette, but it just shows a little bit of an unexpected side of what we do. This environment's beautiful, it's architectural, and so the clothes have more architecture to them. Guys are more statuesque, you know, they're not as loose and relaxed as we've been in the past, or we did last season where we did deconstructed linens. This is about beautiful fluid fabrics for fall and a lot of layers of texture. There's velvet, there's a lot of beautiful cashmere, there's a lot of coat weights, there's a lot of oversized patterns, but they're all done in the dark tones. So I really am happy to be able to do it, that there's still a DNA, it's still a Joseph Abu DNA, yet we do something that's a little bit different. I think the shapes of the coats are really dynamic and the rich brocade fabrics I think are also beautiful. So I just like the richness of it. From London through Milan and into Paris, everyone is loving the idea of velvet and corduroy, and we saw a lot of it on the runway at Joseph Aboud. Certainly a little bit of an interview with a vampire, and Joseph was certainly feeling his vampire moment while he had his models well made up, traversing through the church all night in their velvet and their corduroy and their big chunky sweaters. It was incredible. Celebrating his 30th year doing this, being in fashion, and there's a lot of crushed velvet purples, there's a lot of purple tones, a lot of blues. It was just stunning. Everything about it was really, really masculine and also very haunting, but in a really, really great way. Joseph is a master of material, a lot of tweed, a lot of cashmere, very soft, very masculine.
you know, Joseph, to see his passion and how he plays with menswear and fabrics and fit. do it in the setting of a church is kind of divine. I've always thought of it as a modern American brand where it's American, we don't try to be a pseudo-European brand. It's always about being American. But we want to push it so to make American men more sophisticated. So it isn't as preppy and as Ivy League, but it still reeks of Kind of American Hollywood, you know, American style. It's kind of a nice thing. I always think it's about the man and not the clothes. So the man determines his own style, the clothes are the supporting actor. So I always think the guy has got to be strong, he doesn't wear labels, he wears clothes, and it's not about what brand he wears, but how he styles himself. So my ideal guy is the guy who knows who he is and is comfortable in his clothes.